Well, our first mission is to find out why this 20-year-old Land Cruiser is smoking so badly. It's the big 4.2 turbo diesel engine, and if you have any experience, and if you have any ideas why it's smoking so badly, we'd love to hear about it. Let's go and take a look. We have a 1HD FTE, apparently bulletproof engine, and it misfires and smokes like crazy when it's cold. Let me check the thermometer here. Thermometer says three degrees. Let me turn it on and we'll see if we get some shake. Look at that rattle. So that is definitely not running on six cylinders. The white and blue smoke has started. I'm going to close my garage because last time I filled the garage with poison. And I don't want to do that again. Uh, Smoke has gotten better already. Still running rough. I now see it's starting to do six again. It's like intermittently smoothing out. Not much to see with the thermal though, I imagine. No, the heat shield is doing a heat shielding job. The heat shield is just absorbing it all. Well. That looks like it's now smoothed out again. Just the occasional misfire. The smoke is clearing. So after a while, the smoke it clears and then it comes back again. Uh, if I stick the power heater on, it will do more. So, oh yeah, smoke coming back again. Power heater button. Lift the revs. Keep shaking. And look at that smoke now. So the current theory is that the fuel injection pump is on its way out. It's one of the things that fails on these cars. It starts to pull air in. When it's cold, so this uh, big black device down here is the injection pump. Okay, it's down there, so that starts to go. Unfortunately, it's like a thousand pounds for a re for a reconditioned one. Still running rough. Still smoking like Billy O. Turn off the power heater. So it will smoke like this for the first few minutes and then completely go back to normal. Still got the occasional misfire there, it's still running a little rough. A lot of ticking coming from that pump. Yeah, it's not likely to be the engine. If it's that pump, that's theory number one. If we replace that, it could be good to go. Smoke is almost completely gone. Engine is smoother. But... Still a lot of noise coming off with the injector pump. And the smoke is basically away. There is a trickle of blue, which may be a dying turbo. But from this point on, the car will run as normal. So it's got plenty of power, plenty of torque. It's just when you first start it up, she's a bit sad. So if you have any bright ideas, suggestions, thoughts about what this might be, if you have any experience with the Land Cruiser 100 series with this diesel engine. We would love to hear what you think this is, especially that injection pump noise. Sounds a bit weird that it would be ticking like that. Wonder if that's a confirmation that it is in fact the injection pump. Let us know what you think. So that's it, just a quick test to see if we can find out what's going on. Let us know what you think. Take care, make good decisions. See you next time, bye.